Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. All right, welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. I got some plays for you today out of the Dallas Cowboys playbook. I'm actually recording this while the Cowboys are playing the Giants, which is <laughs> pretty different. Uh, but basically, I'm going to try to finish this quick, hurry up and watch the rest of that game. Uh, but either way, the, the formation I'm using is the single back wide trips. This right here was one of my most used playbooks last year, personally. I, I used them about midway through the season, then I finished the season on the Ravens. So it's still a really good playbook. Uh, but like I said, single back wide trips, the first play I want to show is the PA slot cross. This is something that I used uh, quite a bit last year, but it's run differently this year, and it's a really effective cover two and cover three beater with the new adjustments that I make, um, which, you know, this play just keeps getting better. It's one of my favorite plays. It's so money. It's so easy to do. We'll go ahead and we'll pick that. Uh, on the defensive side, we'll go ahead and we'll pick um, Random Nickel. Now, this play here, um, if you guys want to see more Dallas Cowboys playbook, make sure you hit the like button for that. Really simple adjustments. There's a couple different ways you can do this. Uh, but the same thing I'm going to do every time. I'm going to put this X route here on a drag. And uh, that really helps to pull coverage to get Elliott open. It looks like they're running into each other. But they're really going to be offset to the point where your zone coverage are typically going to key on Witten. Or they'll uh, they'll basically leave Elliott alone, which is really nice. You'll have a wide open running back check down pretty much every play. Um, there's two ways that I like to run it. I also like to move Beasley over. Uh, this way here is not my favorite way, but it's decent. I'll run it like that a couple of times. Uh, that's how I ran it more in the past. But the, the motion that I really like this year is uh, taking Des Bryant here and moving him into the line of scrimmage. Now, what this does, he'll get open right away, right up that seam against most cover twos, uh, every cover three. That really is going to be up a cover three seam. And they'll also pull coverage back the exact same way to get Elliott and Witten open. So this is a really good way. I'll run it both ways to show you what I'm talking about. Cancel that play action right away. Look how he's open right there in the middle of the field. That's a really hard route to user. I run this play. I wish this play was in every playbook that I ran because it is so easy mode. Um, to run, like I said, you can't really use it. You have to. If you do, you're leaving everything else open. So it's really hard uh, for your for your opponent to check out there. That was a really good rush. Like I said, that running back's going to be wide open every time. Get about 15 to 20. So we're going to run this a couple times. Like I said, this looks like a cover three. So pre-diagnosed, I know right away that uh, that my square route's going to be open. I don't recommend taking away Elliot. Elliot is such a good route. You just really have to. The second you hike the ball, hit that R2 route. And then you should have that like right up the gut there. Like look at that, 25, easy money, real quick, hard to cover. So obviously you can see how even motioning Williams over there makes a pretty decent cover two beater concept to the outside. I really think that Beasley is best where he is, and I really think that it's best to keep him there. Um, so there's you know like I said, you can see Williams, even Williams motioning over is a really good route. This play is so dynamic in every facet. But I really feel like Beasley. Was, was better last year, motioned. Uh, I really think this circle route, or Bryant, obviously, I, like I said, I think Bryant's the best way to go. Um, but that's 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 heat neither here nor there. So you can see Beasley here getting open over the center with that play action is really good. So um, you can see the two facets working. I'll go ahead, I'm gonna run this one more time and then I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna move on. But like I said, Bryant's really the way to go. These are obviously really good routes though, really good options. And I'm going to hit that Beasley route again because that Beasley route is really explosive. If he would have caught that and ran, he probably would have scored, but he kind of like stopped. So we're going to move on to the next play. <clears throat> this is one of my all-time favorite plays, and it just got better and easier this year, really. Um, so let's go ahead and let's show. I would like to show the uh, T8, the, 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 the tight end option here. Let's go ahead and let's pick that. Keep going, random nickel. Uh, the tight end option here, you can see he's basically going to do one of two things. If it's a cover three, uh, hopefully he'll he'll go straight up. You see there, um, you know, if it's a cover two, I think he's going to come across. I'm not really sure exactly uh, what his plan is, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put R1 here on a slant, and he'll work uh, open at, right underneath what Witten's doing. And then I also, I can leave it just like this. Uh, or I can motion over Elliot. I don't find the table routes work as good motioned out this year. I find they're better just to kind of leave them in the backfield uh, because they just kind of run out of space really quick and they don't turn up the field really well. So I would say this is the best way to run it. It's a really simple play. Um, and then we can see here, you know, the R1 route just comes open. That's basically like a pick play by the tight end. He's pulling deep. A lot of users I play, when I do plays like this, they just forget about the R1 route. They basically follow that X route right out of the play. As you see right there, that was a cover two. They were sitting on the R1 route that time. 
Yeah, I guess Witten has an option of a comeback here, which is probably the worst one that I wouldn't want. Uh, but you see there how the corner, you have the corner strike concept with the running back and, the, and uh, Des Bryant, which is obviously um, always a good option. You know, people really like that corner strike. Here they just, they, they, they bit down on the running back that leaves Des open for a big play. You know what I'm saying? That corner strike concept's real easy. So you can see how everything here kind of plays out. The only thing that really doesn't do anything is Williams. And if I wanted to, I could put Williams on an, on an in route and then smart route him. And then he becomes a late developing check down, which is always a good thing to have, which is always nice. There, Beasley. I had to wait a little bit for him to pass that linebacker, but you can see how he gets forgotten a lot. So that's a really simple play. We're going to go ahead and we're going to move on to the next one. Now the next play I'm going to show is the PA cross-up. I'm probably going to have one more or two more plays that will be on my Patreon. This is not a two-part series. I really just wanted to show the original play, the first play, uh, because, like I said, it's so easy mode and it's so effective. Um, I thought that that play could stand by itself. But we're going to show the one at the bottom here. It's a smash concept, uh, the PA cross-up. Now, just like the previous play, the first play I showed you, motioning in Bryant is a really good look. It'll beat cover two and cover three pretty uh, pretty successfully all by itself. Um, so that's a really nice route. Uh, but I already showed that a bunch of times, so I don't want to do that too much uh, on this play. Uh, another thing you can do is you can motion over Witten here, and he uh, he has a really good outside. I mean, that's a really good route outside. It's a, it's a good route inside, too, uh, but outside it's also really nice. So this is another play you have a lot of different options. Uh, you could also put Williams here. The, uh, the circle route on a smoke screen and he plays off of what Beasley's doing even better although realistically what he's doing there is just a longer version of it but I actually think it's best um, if it's a cover two and Beasley will pull back uh, I actually like Williams um, you know he's good either way you can leave him like he is I feel like it gets open a little bit quicker on a smoke screen uh, but that's really up to you um, you know other than that I mean even motioning Beasley over is not too bad um, doing a route option like this I don't like leaving him on that I like uh, I like having him as the deep option and then Bryant coming open underneath him um, so I'll try to run a little bit of all these if I can here in a second once he motions back uh, but let's go ahead let's keep I still think the best way probably is to motion Bryant over uh, put your running back on a pass block because it looks like we're probably going to have some heat here and we'll go ahead and we'll, you know, like I said, Brian up that seam is just money no matter what play it is. But a lot of really good options here. A lot of really good uh, possibilities. So this looks like a man if I had to guess. And we take that underneath. I said that's a five yard. If they're going to leave it alone, I'll take it. I feel like you just get a little more separation, a little more catch and run space if you put him in a smoke screen. But that's just... You know, no guarantees that that's accurate or what. And there, Beasley, if you throw in that break, that's going to be a really good play right there. Covered by Malcolm Jenkins, of all people. So I'll try to run this a couple more times. I'll show you some more of these motions uh, with Witten and uh, Beasley, like I was saying, just to show you how those set up. And you see how they drop back there? It just leaves Williams open underneath. That's a nice, what was that, like 10 yards right there? Good play. But uh, overall, Witten's... Witten's uh, this play for Witten is not, it needs something pulling down, which I guess Elliot like this would be probably the best way to go for it to be a true cover two play. Um, but you can see there, I think that was just a straight up man and Witten just beats really bad. He's not that fast of a tight end to be doing that big of a play. But uh, if you're if you're motioning over Witten, it would really make sense to put something below him uh, just in case that's what type of look it is. And he's just really breaking fast, even though, like I say, he's not a fast tight end, but he's doing a really good job. So then the last one I was showing you, like I said, was uh, motioning Beasley over and then putting Brian in a slant underneath him. Um, in this scenario, I actually think that uh, Witten might be best served in a drag, but we'll go ahead and run it like this one time. Because I just find like he crosses, you know, he does a good job of crossing the, uh, the linebacker over. But I really feel like putting him in a drag in this scenario, maybe even Williams, because Williams isn't doing too much in this anymore. Uh, but somebody underneath these crossing, these pulling routes is a really good uh, way to go. As you see, waiting here, just wide open. I could float it up and catch and run. And a guy, who's, like I said, he's not that fast. So, yeah, I really didn't try throwing it up to Beasley on this route yet, uh, which he should get open pretty good. And there it is up. That's right up to cover three seam. 
which is something really good to work against this. So uh, that's a lot of options. This play here is a real um, Swiss Army knife of a play. So let's go. Let's move on. So that's it for video uh, number one of the Cowboys. But like I said, I know this is a really popular playbook. I get a lot of requests for it. Um, so if you guys want to see more, make sure you hit the like button and I'll do that. Other than that, uh, if you want to see part two of this uh, formation or the rest of it, rather, uh, it's on my Patreon account now. I don't know if it's going to make it to YouTube, but um, if you guys hit the like button enough, uh, there's always a chance of that. And that's it. Thanks for watching, Mad Money Shit out.